We ready? All right. <laughs> this is the first take of making a hemp creek sample block for everybody that's interested. We have two L-shaped pieces of wood that I've screwed together. We've got our little makeshift frame that we're going to use. And we have our million dollar technologically advanced tamper. Okay. So first of all, we've made up a little frame with a little <coughs> representing the, uh, the, the framing of the, uh, uh, of the studs in the structure. We're going to make a form around there, which we've put together with a couple of bits of plywood. Instead of screwing them together, I'm just going to use a couple of clamps. A couple of well-worn clamps, I might add. So effectively, Rob, you want to just uh, have a look inside this cavity. Come over here and have a look inside the cavity. This is a um, <clears throat> this is what the inside of the cavity will look like before we place the hempcrete. So now, like all well-managed job sites, we have to be prepared. Here's our lime binder, specially prepared. Here's our hemp specially prepared and in our kit boxes we actually have a, um, a diagram of how to do it all. Anyway, we don't need that for the time being, but we do need a million dollar tamper. So, as in all good workplace practices, we have mask for dust and we have gloves. Now, before I <coughs> get kitted up, the, the, the regular mixture for, a, uh, for making a wall is four parts hemp, one part binder, and one part water. So here we have some hemp, and it doesn't really matter what you use to, uh, to measure it out, as long as all the measurements are the same. So I've got a little plastic container here. I'm going to basically would be measuring one part hemp there times four, right? So but first of all, we're going to open our binder. Oh, I can't open it because I've sealed it so well. Just stop that rod, please. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dissolve and mix in our binder with the water before we add the hemp. So I have one container of water here. I'm going to use. Now we're going to have a couple of mixtures around in this box, but anyway, into my cake mixing bowl, which I've got there. Now I'm going to have some binder in there. And that's basically one part binder. Going into the water. Now comes the the, uh, the safety stuff, right? Let's do the safety stuff, Greg. Make sure we're all kitted up safety-wise. Here's me nose uh, breathing. Here's my gloves. Notice I tend to have gloves that are a little bit longer up the up the arm. So we're just going to mix this by hand. My old pattern said to me. If you can't use a hand tool, how can you use a power tool? So we're going to mix this binder in here. Just to make a bit of a slurry. Getting all this rub. Yep. A little slurry there. Now we want to add the hemp. So we're going to do four parts hemp. So we're going to go to so there. There's approximately one. There's two, a bit, bit of spillage. That's half of what we need. We'll start mixing that in. Soaking is getting pretty soaked there. Another 
one, that makes three. And there's another one makes four. So now we've had, if you remember, four parts of hemp, one part of binder, and one part of water. Start mixing that around, just like we're mixing the salad. At home for dinner. Taking a cake, mixing the dough. This is what would be happening in a mixer on a bigger scale, obviously. So now we've got pretty much the consistency that sticks together. Okay? That's what we're looking for. So there's the crumbs back in there, make sure it's all mixed in. Now we're going to start filling our form. Just dump it in there. Now, using our tamper, just going to spread that around a little bit. Move it out. Now we're going to tamp around the edges. This is going to give us some density and hold it together. Just around the edges, you notice I'm not doing it on the, on the center of this. Just around the edges. And there we have the first mix. Take a look inside there, Rob. You can see we're starting to fill up the uh, fill up the form. All right, now for round two. Another bit of binder. Just whenever you're ready. Let's go. All right, so we've come to the top of our block form. Just tap those little bits down in the middle there just so it's not going to blow away on me. I haven't used all of the material, there's still a little bit of a little bit of hemp creep left, but that's okay. Pretty much everything that came in the kit is used for making the block. Now, the most interesting part of making hemp creep, people always ask, how soon can you take those forms off? Well, let's take the forms off right now. The old gloves there. Take our forms away. And voila, hempcrete block. That's how easy it is to cast hempcrete. This would represent the uh, structural frame of the house, 2 by 4s 2 by 6s um, You can just put a little carry handle on that, but look, there we go. I wouldn't want to throw it around or use it as a football right now, but hey, it's there, it's done. That's how simple it is, folks, making your own hip creek sample block. This is Greg from Hip Technologies signing off.